This video provides a general overview of the operating instructions and safety procedures for using General's jet drain cleaners. Disregarding any of the safety procedures while using the jets can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. This video does not include a complete list of all of the recommended safety procedures and does not provide specific instructions for every application. General's Jet Set is the right machine for clearing grease, sand, sludge, and ice. It uses a stream of high pressure water that hits the stoppage and flushes it away. The thrust of the jet nozzle drives the hose down the line and gives you wall to wall cleaning action. To begin, position the machine several feet from the drain opening allowing yourself enough room to work with the hose. Ideally, the line should be cleared from the lower end, that is, from the street to the building. Be sure to wear safety glasses and rubber gloves when operating the machine. If using a gas jet, locate the machine away from combustible materials, fumes, or dust. Operate the machine in open spaces where there is adequate oxygen and where carbon monoxide will not build up. For gas or electric jets, check the inlet filter before each use. And periodically, check the oil level in the pump. For gas jets, you should also periodically check the oil in the engine. Use a three-quarter inch heavy-duty water supply hose. This type of hose will ensure that enough water is supplied to the pump. An insufficient water supply will cause cavitation and damage the pump. Run the water for several seconds to make sure the water is clear of sediment. Connect the hose to the water inlet. The incoming water pressure must be no more than 100 psi and the incoming water temperature must not exceed 140 degrees or you could damage the pump. With electric models, check the power cord to make sure there are no cuts or frays. Make sure the grounding prong is attached. Plug the electric jet into a 110 volt, 20 amp grounded circuit. If the power cord supplied is not long enough, use a heavy duty 12 gauge, 3 wire cord in good condition. It must be no more than 50 feet in length. Before each use, test the ground fault interrupter by pressing the test button, then the reset button. If the light comes on, the circuit is grounded. For optimum performance, you should use the hose and nozzle that match your job requirements. Use the 3 8 inch ID hose for cleanouts, 4 inch through 8 inch floor drains, and septic lines at distances up to 300 feet on gas jets or 200 feet on electric. Also use the 3 8 inch hose when connecting the jet to accessories like the cart reel. With the quarter inch hose, you can clear 2 inch through 4 inch lines more than 200 feet down the line on gas jets or 150 feet on electric. The 8 inch hose has the flexibility to get through inch and a half and 2 inch lines and tight bends up to 75 feet down the line. When using a gas jet to clear inside lines, couple the 8 inch hose to the end of the 3 8 inch hose using the trigger from the spray wand or the foot pedal. With the use of specialized nozzles, your jetter can be equipped for almost any situation. Use this powerful penetrating nozzle for maximum power to cut through grease and ice. Use this wide spray flushing nozzle to clean and pressure wash the pipe walls thoroughly. For getting around tight bends and P-traps, use the spring leader nozzle. And this downhead nozzle takes the hose down T's and around difficult bends. Leave the lines crystal clear with this rotary nozzle. It scours the walls of the pipe for real wall-to-wall -wall cleaning action. It's best to start with the penetrating nozzle to break through the stoppage and then follow up with the wide spray nozzle for a thorough cleaning job. Remember, jet machines create a high pressure water spray. Never point the spray at anyone, including yourself. 
The high pressure spray is powerful enough to break the skin. If fluid seems to have penetrated your skin, get emergency care at once. Know how to shut off the machine in an emergency. Put the hose and nozzle two to three feet into the drain line. Then turn on the ball valve to get the air out of the hose before turning on the jet. Make sure the vibropulse valve is off. For the electric jet, simply turn on the power switch. If the circuit you are using cannot handle the load, the amp draw can be reduced by turning down the unloader valve to a lower pressure. To start a gas jet, open the fuel valve. If the engine is cold, open the choke. Turn the switch on and move the throttle lever to half. Then pull the cord firmly. After the engine starts, move the throttle to full and close the choke. Pull the jet hose from the reel and guide it into the drain. Allow the hose to go down the line a few feet, then pull the hose back half the distance advanced. The actual cleaning takes place when the hose is pulled back toward the operator. Move the hose back and forth to break up the stoppage and flush it down the line. For added power and distance, turn on the vibropulse. It's especially helpful for smaller electric jets. The vibration will be most effective in the 8th inch diameter hose. If the hose fails to advance or has difficulty getting around the bend, you can rotate the hose by putting a loop in it and twisting back and forth. Or pull the hose back about 8 inches and snap it forward so that the hose can jump around the bend. If this is not successful, switch to the spring leader nozzle or a smaller diameter hose, or both. When the job is complete, turn off the machine before pulling the end of the hose out of the line so that you don't get hit with high pressure spray. To operate the spray wand, connect the high pressure hose and trigger to the accessory outlet. Or on the smaller jets, disconnect the jet hose and attach the spray wand. Rotate the ball valve to the accessory position, or for electric jets, open the output valve. Turn on the water supply, then squeeze the trigger to purge air from the system. Continue to squeeze the trigger as you start the machine. As with any jet usage, you must wear goggles and rubber gloves and boots while operating the spray wand. If you're using a chemical injector, Attach one end of the siphon hose to the injector and put the filter end in the chemical solution. Be sure your chemical solution is properly diluted or it will clog the injector. When using your jet machine during freezing temperatures, it's important to winterize the pump to protect it from damage. If you can't store the machine indoors, the next best thing is to flush the system with antifreeze between uses. Simply attach a short piece of garden hose to the inlet of the pump and put the other end into the antifreeze container. Turn the machine on to draw the antifreeze into the system. If kept relatively undiluted, the same antifreeze can be used again and again. Be sure to read your instruction manual before attempting to operate or perform maintenance on your unit. If you have any questions or difficulties, ask your dealer or call the drain brains. General Pipe Cleaners, the toughest tools down the line.